Welcome back strategy gamers. This is Victoria 3. We are continuing our playthrough as Spain. Looking to restore our rightful place in the sun and hopefully also our people's standard of living for that bourbon restoration achievement. So we will be staying a monarchy. I'm Garner. I'm from Ireland. I enjoy strategy games. If you enjoy games like Victoria, do think to like and subscribe. There will be, there's as well as this playthrough, I will have guides on Victoria. I do post, I'll post uh, updates on games like this, Old World, um, Humankind. Look at what we're doing here. You know, between the episodes, I've had a little look around. I think there is a slight retooling of our construction plan required. One thing I noticed was Castile has the largest amount of peasants. So this is something I think is a real area that we should be looking to grow. We don't have any construction here, so we can't build quickly here. And we know that wood, iron are currently some issues for us. We also know that paper has at times been an issue for us. We know clothes is something we want to improve as well. Okay, so we're going to look to get some construction here. We're going to bump the iron up to five, bump the logging up as well. And then one of the areas that we haven't been doing is farms. And so we're going to get that rocking as well. So that's a lot of construction in one area. I think when we look at our building queue, I think we're going to cancel some of these Valencia iron mines and guess so we'll let the old logging be finished then we'll get our construction built once that construction is built we can then look to start splicing in some of the buildings that go with it so one of the iron mines needs these construction centers to be built then that iron will come online there's nationalism unlocked 10% improvement to our authority and allows the ethno state in citizenship so that construction is built now we want the, when this last one ticks over we then want to make sure that we have a mixture of buildings coming through from the three the three different states we are now finally in the red in the green after taking on two million in debt for our morocco war the iron mines here are into marrakesh now marrakesh we look at marrakesh does have some construction no it has conscription it lacks construction so let's get those built as well that get that and boom that marrakesh one will get built declining interest in south africa i don't think we greatly care about south africa i think we're mainly pushing into these areas i am interested to know what is happening down here though yeah we still have clippers iron and woods are quite expensive and we need to import silk so there's silk So, uh, silk, new import, and we'll bring it in from the Ottomans. So, port in eastern Andalusia, Valencia, western Andalusia, so each of these is a different place. And then we just want to make, mix these up a little, get that port in, in the middle there. So, these, so, we want to make sure different states are building so they all progress. Farmer's market inactive, 10%. Okay, so we are now cordial with the United States. So they wouldn't take a trade agreement with us. And we they don't view us as being strong enough. Okay. How are the Dutch? The Dutch the Dutch are in a much better place. So we need more clippers. High tensions with some of our 
with the locals from a colony point of view. Puerto Rico has low access. So let's max out its ports. Before we do that, give you two of these and two of these. So that's in Valencia, that's in West Andalusia. Atmospheric engine objective complete. So we brought online some more. Now, if we look at papers, we could shift to sulfite, but we don't have enough sulfur. From a shipping point of view, we could temporarily shift this over to clippers, which makes mana wars expensive, and mana wars are very expensive, so I don't think that is sustainable. Uh, I think we're okay with our cannons and muskets, so we want to get up to rifling. Urban centers, if we move to market squares, this will greatly improve services, which are quite expensive. It will cost glass. We don't currently make enough glass. Yeah, let's have a look at this event. Proponents of landed voting reform have called the attention to past abuses of power by the current regime as a reason why this change is urgently needed. Power corrupts. Spain gets admitted abuses of power, plus 20% enactment chance. And two of our generals lose popularity, or we downplay it. We will downplay it. So we can up our paper consumption to greatly increase our bureaucracy and our taxation capacity. Boom. Back in the green on bureaucracy. Gas streetlights require coal. We are making coal, so this should be okay to do. And it increase it will shift more people to being engineers. So if we just look at that one briefly, it's not costing that much in terms of the tax change for us. State run churches are fine. Muskets are the only option available to us here. Tooling workshops. We don't have uh, really any steel. Glass. We're not producing much lead. And we do have the ability to make lead. So glass is one I think we need to look at. It's not in a particularly great place. Now we can switch to using lades on our furniture. Which will increase our tools usage. Now tools is one that is currently i think under utilized in our spaces so castile is a place that we recognized as needing some employment and then we will also look at marrakesh fez and eastern okay. oh sorry i was on pause War profiteering, atmospheric engine. So we gain throughput on coal. Or we gain progress towards railroads. Yes, please. Raising concerns. Landowners are upset. I don't like the landowners. So yes, I do favor the industrialists. What of it? Building queue. Basically just need to mix this up so the top three are Castile bottoms are so we pop that one down this is Marrakesh pop that one up so it should be Castile Marrakesh Castile Marrakesh Castile Fez Fez so pop that Fez one up there is railways unlocked so this actually becomes probably an even higher priority we will start in the capital So if we come in, we want to go building lens, industry, why can't I see railroads? I think I want to also get motor factories in place now as well. And we'll get one into Aragon as well, just a place that has been flagged as being problematic from... Um, Uh, 
market access point of view. And we also are currently running a problem with... Uh, we're having to support in, um, infrastructure in Aragon with our authority. Okay, so we can search new technology. I think nitroglycerin could work. Something that improved glass mightn't be the worst idea. Uh, if we have a look over onto society, getting some of these laws potentially unlocked would be useful and be able to open up psychiatry. Yeah, an improvement to bureaucracy. Take that. Insufficient agriculture. So, yes, please, baking powder unlocked. So, if we look at our food industries, we can shift from sweeteners, which is using grain and sugar, to using the same amount of grain and sugar to produce slightly less groceries. This, 8,000. So, this will increase. Oh, okay, it will basically double what we were doing before. Let's go for it. So, our furniture is not very efficient. I think we will look to bring in lathes, which improves it. And we could look to some of our furniture, say in Badayos, to switch to luxury. Uh, tooling is really inefficient at the moment. So I am actually going to subsidize tooling. So we're back, we've got to a 2 million gold reserve. Want to get that higher. Paper, we needed sulfite. The queen can interfere. Which the intelligentsia won't be happy with, so I'll stop her interfering. Industrial barriers. Petty bourgeoisie get upset. I'm not going to reduce manufacturing outputs. Soil enriched is great. So some are looking at. Yeah, so I think we do want a mixture. So Toledo can shift to being. And then. Logistics unlocked, conscription improved. Yeah, so we're just kind of going around and looking to make our production as efficient as possible. So we can now shift our some of our processes over to rail, which we'll do for the mines. We can support another interest. All of South America. Okay. And then, if we look at how, so what's happened here? So, our, has our colonization stalled? So, we can go into Indonesia, Niger. Yeah, so we'll let, I think we'll let this one complete. And then I think we will look at Indonesia. So, Sulawesi here is available. And Asante here. We could look at a play against them. Benin would support them. But I think before we look at anything from a military point of view, I think I want to retool our military to be skirmishers with mobile artillery. So that's our main army. From a naval point of view, man of war, escort frigates, or commiss raiders. So we can increase the power of our navy as well. This region here also improve the military. And this one here. So that's costing us five grand extra at the moment to basically retool these troops. So I think that's about as far as I want to go on that. The United States is looking to annex and has pulled it off. Oklahoma, Utah, Arizona, California from Mexico. 
Are they at war with the British? The British and the Americans are at war. Well, this feels like an amazing time for us to go to war. Mexico have taken Alabama. Louisiana. No, this is Louisiana. Wow. 280 odd days here. Oh, no. Yeah, we can't let this stand. We can get in quicker than you. Low market access in Castile. Build a railway. Make the railway the highest high priority. Maybe just after some of these tooling workshops. And Western Andalusia needs a railway as well. And the railway here. Central archives unlocked, so we can increase home affairs, our taxation's approved. Great stuff. Railway. 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 And we already have one being built to a source, no? Yeah. Clippers, wood, iron, general in required. Engines now required. So one of the things we should probably do before we build all of these is motor industry. And we're going to go for Navarro and Fez and Steel. And from the building's point of view, I'm going to basically throw a bunch of these to the top. So then, motor industry, so it's 14 weeks. Yep, yeah, let those puns play out. I think we need to get these motor industries built before some of these railways, because we've basically done the opposite of crashing the market for engines. So we don't need to import tools anymore because we're now making our own. Ammunition. Import for a brief period while we are tooling our military. Bring in some engines as well. Transportation, which we'll get from Railroads, clothing, opium, coal. And now coal's running at a deficit. Clothing is running at a huge deficit. So I think we need to import some clothes as well. Expensive. Arms industry required. And Navarro. We now have landed voting. Moderate party formed. So, just pause right there. Go to government. So we have the moderate party, the progressive party, free trade party. The landowners are not part of any one yet. So out of curiosity, what kind of laws are we looking to pass? I would like to get towards laissez-faire, which is Supported by the industrialists and opposed by the landowners and rural folk. I would like to get to private schools, which is supported by the industrialists and intelligentsia and opposed by the landowners and the church. I would like to get to either protectionism or free trade. Protectionism is heavily opposed. The industrialists are in favour of free trade, landowners and rural folk aren't. Censorship, moving to right of assembly, heavily opposed. Um, looks like it does a huge amount for us. Hospitals, now hospitals would do something for us. The industrialists, so I think I need to get the industrialists into government. So, schools, yeah. Okay, so reform government. I want to get the industrialists in. If I kick the armed forces out, I will increase my legitimacy. Out of curiosity, petty bourgeoisie would increase it further. And what are they bringing to the party? They oppose home affairs. They're neutral on right of assembly. They endorse elected 
bureaucrats, which could be a good thing. And they, well, we're not going to change government, are in favor of a citizenship change and a migration change. They wish to join the Progressive Party, which would be joining with the Intelligentsia. These are all regressives who have no interest in working with, apart from the armed forces. So this would increase radicals, reduce loyalists. And I can't push this through because the Catholic Church wishes to join the progressives. So now I can push it through because I've got all of the progressive party in government joined by the industrialists. Well, the church are somewhat of a problem because the church are who I'm looking to diminish. But I want to get... Well, I don't need to get the Catholic Church and Petty Bourgeois into government. I just wanted to get the industrialists. But a higher legitimacy will make it easier to pass laws. And we're going to move straight. Why can't we do this? I need to get rid of state religion first. Okay, so this is going to be hard. A freedom of conscience or total separation. Well, this is the one that isn't going to turn the church into complete radicals right to begin with. Elected bureaucrats, very little support for it. Home affairs, we can get secret police. Big bureaucracy costs, so I don't think we need that. National supremacy feels like a rollback. Cultures will be accepted if they share a cultural trait with any primary. Cultures will be accepted based on sharing a heritage cultural trait within any primary cultures in their country. Can't do this because no party's in favor of it, so no. So we're not changing racial segregation. We could move on voting, and there is support for moving at least the wealth voting to get us more authority. Yeah. That's a decent option. This is the one we really wanted to push. So currently, we have some tariff effects. This would increase our trade volume, reduce our bureaucracy cost for trades, and improve our competitiveness on it. Nobody cares about child labor. Poor laws could be introduced. Increase some of our costs to a big bureaucracy cost on that. Migration controls. So we currently have migration controls. This would move to no migration rules. It's industrious are in favor. Petty Bargy we're all against. No, I don't think we need no migration controls. Slavery, I would love to ban slavery. And we now have a positive on it. The intelligentsia yeah, are against us. Oh no, they all support us. Okay, we are going to look to ban slavery. Catholic Church endorsed the change. The Petit Bourgie support the change. The Intelligentsia supports change. That is the progressive party that we have just made the head of government. Though their clout is barely bigger than the industrialists who we've also brought in. And the industrialists are calling themselves the Free Trade Party. Free trade will be what they look to gain from this. So the Progressive Party will get slavery bans. The industrialists will get free trade. We'll keep our taxation process. We'll keep our economic system. And then we will look to drive a wedge through the government on separation of church and state. So we can then look at education and health reform that currently are religious. I cannot afford the next level. Yeah. So I need to improve my bureaucracy. So I need to increase the administration centers in areas but I think the building the building work we have in play is what needs to be done to rebalance the books we still have iron clipper wood issues um, artillery and ammunition are incredibly expensive so we're looking to build um, small arms and so we need mus munition plants. Fascinating.
So there is a very interesting war between Britain and the United States taking place. The United States have also lost Alabama to the Mexicans, as well as, I think, losing California. So there is a lot of interesting things happening in the world. There was There's also a war in Europe. Prussia have recently had a war against where they tried to take out Baden, which Austria intervened in. And they are currently at war with Oldenburg, who have Danish and French allies. The Swedes are on the other side. I wonder, are the Swedes trying to gain some of Denmark? And yeah, and we are continuing to colonize in Africa. So we have got as much of the Togo area as we could. The next option is to push against Dissenti, where we could make a diplomatic play. I think the plan before that was to retool the military, which is what we're doing, which is generating a huge amount of costs for us. We continue to colonize up the Congo, and we're now looking to uh, compete on the Niger Delta as well. So the Danes are causing us issues here. Okay, this has been Victoria 3, Spain. We will continue this play, uh, this play in the next video. Thanks for watching. I've been Garner. You've been awesome. Please like and subscribe to, to see more Victoria 3 content, including guides, tips, etc. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.